Welcome back. Go ahead and suffocate the like button. Stick around until the end to see our next disturbing story you can't afford to miss. Deep in the heart of northern Michigan's dense forests, rumors of a creature called the Dogman had circulated for generations. Described as a terrifying blend of man and beast, with the head of a canine and the body of a human, it was said to roam the woods, its howl a harbinger of misfortune for any who heard it. Most dismissed the tales as folklore, a story to scare children or entertain tourists. But for Carrie, a cryptozoologist intrigued by the legends of such creatures, the Dogman represented a mystery that needed solving. In the fall, as the leaves began to turn vibrant shades of orange and red, Carrie organized an expedition into the woods of the Manistee National Forest, where sightings of the Dogman had been most frequent. Accompanied by her assistant, Jake, and a small team equipped with night vision cameras, audio recorders, and environmental sensors, they set up camp in a clearing known locally as Wolf Hollow. The first few days passed without incident. They hiked the surrounding area, setting up cameras and collecting samples, all the while keeping an ear out for any unusual sounds. Nights were spent around the campfire, reviewing footage and discussing theories about what the Dogman might be. Was it a lost species, a ghost, or merely a tall tale? The team was skeptical, but remained vigilant. On the third night, as the wind whispered through the trees and the fire crackled, a distant howl cut through the forest's ambient noises. It was unlike any animal they knew. It was deep and resonant, filled with an almost human anguish. The team froze, listening as the howl echoed again, closer this time. Carrie signaled for silence and activated her audio recorder, her heart racing with a mix of excitement and fear. They spent the next day following the sounds, which seemed to move with a purposeful intelligence. By evening, they realized they were deep in the forest, much further than any of them had planned to go. The terrain had become rugged, the trees here older and closer together, the light struggling to penetrate the dense canopy. As night fell, they found themselves in a particularly thick part of the woods, the darkness almost palpable. Deciding it was too risky to move back to camp until morning, they set up a temporary campsite. The fire seemed to struggle against the oppressive dark, its light barely reaching beyond their small circle. That's when they heard rustling in the brush nearby. The team tensed, peering into the dark as the sounds grew more pronounced. A heavy, deliberate thudding, like the footsteps of something large prowling just beyond the firelight. Jake grabbed a flashlight, shining it into the trees, but the beam seemed swallowed by the darkness. Suddenly, from the edge of the light, a figure emerged. It was tall, its posture stooped, with the unmistakable head of a wolf atop a distorted human body. Its eyes caught the light from the fire, reflecting a deep, malevolent red, the Dogman. Carrie and her team were paralyzed with shock, their skepticism shattered by the creature that now stood before them. The Dogman tilted its head, as if curious, then let out another howl that chilled them to the bone. As it stepped closer, Carrie realized they were in its territory, its domain. They had come looking for it, and now it had found them. The story of their hunt for the Dogman was far from over, and as the creature advanced, its intentions unclear, they understood the true danger of seeking out myths meant to be left alone. The night was long, and survival was uncertain. The fire crackled and hissed, casting eerie shadows that danced around the campsite as the Dogman approached its form blurring the line between man and beast. The team huddled together, their eyes wide with fear, as they watched the creature stop just at the edge of the firelight. Its breath was heavy, fogging in the cold air, and its deep, guttural growls filled the silence of the forest. Carrie, despite her fear, held her ground. She had come here to document and understand, not to cower. Slowly she reached for the camera, her movements deliberate and cautious, hoping not to provoke the creature. She managed to snap a few photos before the camera's click seemed to catch its attention. The dogman tilted its head, eyeing the device with a curious, almost intelligent gaze. Easy there, Jake whispered, his voice barely audible. He had his hand on his own camera, but he hesitated, unsure if capturing more footage would aggravate their visitor. The dogman's eyes shifted from the camera to the team. It took a step closer, the leaves and twigs underfoot crunching under its weight. The creature's presence was imposing, and every instinct screamed at them to flee. 
but they were too far from any safe haven, and running might trigger a chase they were sure to lose. Instead, Carrie spoke softly, her voice trembling slightly as she addressed the creature. We're not here to harm you, we just want to learn. We'll leave if that's what you want. Her words felt foolish the moment she said them, speaking to a creature of myth as if it would understand, but to her surprise, the dogman paused, its ears twitching as if it was listening. The standoff lasted for what felt like hours, but were only a few minutes. Then, as suddenly as it had appeared, the dogman turned and vanished back into the shadows of the forest, its departure as silent as its arrival. The team exhaled in unison, the tension breaking as they realized they were still alive, still unharmed. What do we do now? Melissa asked, her voice a mix of fear and awe. She looked around at the dark forest that had suddenly become a far more threatening entity. We leave at first light, Carrie decided immediately. We pack up and move out. It's clear we're not welcome here. They spent a restless night by the dying fire, jumping at every sound, every snap of a branch or rustle of leaves. When dawn finally broke over the horizon, it was a gray, overcast morning, the sun struggling to penetrate the dense canopy. As they packed their gear, the forest around them felt alive, watchful. Carrie couldn't shake the feeling that they were being observed, that the dogman was somewhere out there, hidden in the mist, watching their every move. With their backpacks shouldered, they began the trek back to civilization, the path seeming more treacherous and unwelcoming than before. Every shadow could be hiding eyes, every tree could be masking the form of the creature that had haunted their night. They walked in silence, the weight of what they had experienced hanging heavy between them. They had sought out a legend, hoping to reveal it as just a story, but the reality they discovered was far more profound and terrifying. The story of their encounter with the Michigan Dogman would remain unfinished as they left the woods behind, the echoes of the night's howls lingering in their ears, a haunting reminder that some myths are deeply rooted in truth, and some truths are better left undiscovered. As the group trudged through the damp undergrowth, every sound made them flinch. The forest felt claustrophobic, the trees pressing in as if to squeeze the sanity from their minds. With each step, the fear that the dogman would reappear clawed at them, turning their journey into a nerve-wracking escape. Despite their pace, the trek back seemed interminably slow. Carrie kept glancing back, her camera now slung uselessly over her shoulder, too frightened to stop and review what she had captured. Jake's hand hovered near his own camera, but like Carrie, he felt the futility of trying to document further. Melissa and Dan discussed in hushed tones what they would say when they got back. How could they explain an encounter so fantastical, yet so harrowingly real, without sounding mad? The forest began to thin as they neared its edge, the light filtering through the trees growing brighter. They almost began to relax, thinking they had left the territory of the dogman behind. But just as they reached the boundary, where the woods gave way to a field, a chilling howl rose from deep within the forest. It was answered by another, closer, and then another, until the air was filled with the eerie symphony of howls. The team froze, their bodies tense. From the thicket to their right, a large figure emerged, its imposing silhouette outlined against the underbrush. It was the dogman, but it was not alone. Flanking it were two smaller figures, similar in form but slighter in build. A pack. The creatures did not advance, instead, they stood observing, their eyes reflecting a deep, unsettling intelligence. Carrie understood then that they had been allowed to leave, but the permission was conditional. They were being given one last chance to escape, a warning that no further intrusions would be tolerated. With hearts pounding, the group backed away slowly, keeping their eyes on the dogman and its pack until they were well into the field. Only then did they turn and run, not stopping until they reached the car, parked on a gravel road, the forest a dark line in the distance. Driving away, the weight of their experience settled over them in silence. When they finally spoke, it was with a new understanding of the world's mysteries. Some corners of the earth were still wild, guarded by beings not to be understood or disturbed. The encounter with the dogman changed them. Melissa gave up her casual interest in cryptozoology, shaken by the reality behind the myths. Dan became more protective, his adventures now more cautious and less remote. Jake found himself obsessively reviewing the footage, trying to make sense of what they'd seen, though he never shared it publicly. 
Carey, however, was left with a restless need to advocate for the preservation of such wild spaces, her respect for the unknown deepened by fear and awe. Their story of the Michigan Dogman remained theirs alone, a secret pact forged by shared terror and wonder. As they reintegrated into their daily lives, the forest and its inhabitants faded into a haunting memory, a reminder of the night when legend and reality met, leaving their mark on the souls of those who dared to look too closely. Thank you for listening. Now watch this video.